Another obscure setting inside of Thin Manager that I'd like to talk about is uh, dealing with shadowing and the port that shadowing uses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Thin Manager uh, configuration uh, wizard and we're going to step through this all the way to the very end and you'll notice that we have a shadow configuration and the ability to select a different port. Um, now the reason why this is important is because the imager uses port 5900 as the default port for shadowing um, and entering a different port number into the shadowing field will change the port if it's potentially in conflict with another uh, scenario there. Uh, the reason why this is important is because the image uses the same port as VNC. So if uh, VNC is installed on, let's say, a WinTMC uh, PC, then there could be a conflict between the, the shadowing services. If this happens, the port can be changed inside of Thin Manager. So it would be a simple, easy thing to do if you were using 5900 because you already had VNC on a particular PC that you were using WinTMC with, just change it to 6000 or 7000 or 5800 or some other port that's not being used. You'd have to know that in your environment, what ports you actually are using in your environment. But it's an easy way of making that change if needed. For more tips and gems, please visit ThinManager.com.